for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. We talk about prayer. Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. Let me carry you. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogue and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. Six. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your father, who sees and sin. Then your father, who sees what is done in the secret, will reward you. Seven. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your father knows what you need before you ask him. That was the introduction now of our father. You know this prayer? Are you there? That was the day Jesus introduced them to this prayer in verse 9. This then how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, allow be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let me end there because of time. We all know this prayer, our Father. Now, Jesus said in verse 5, when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites. Who is the hypocrite? Can you find those people inside the church? The answer is yes. Because outside there, we all know that it's for everyone to live according to the way you see things. Do not be like the hypocrites. For they love to pray standing in the synagogue on the street corners to be seen by others. Make no mistake, this word can help you in two ways. Your house could be your heart. When it is time like this one when we are gathered, can you close your door inside the church? No. Simply means the life of a believer lies inside their heart. And the one who sees beyond your appearance sees your heart. I, I pray that God will help me to explain this to you in a short you know, time. Let me repeat this one again. They like standing in the synagogue and on the street corners to be seen by others. What does it mean? Prayer when you are praying, you are not praying for this one to know you that you are a prayer warrior. I'm now talking about inside the church. Because maybe you'll be confused that the Bible is talking about praying at home. No. You can pray at home or you can pray at church. But the secret lies in your heart. When you are praying, I remember years back, the time that you know this born again came to our life. What we used to know is that when you are praying, even your neighbor must know that you are praying zero four. Everyone must know that now it is time, zero four, they are praying this side. There's nothing wrong to pray on top of your voice if the Spirit of God is the one who is leading you. 
But if it is to show people that you pray every time 01 or 02, something is wrong. Because you are not talking to your father. Prayer is a communication between you and your creator. Prayer is not to show your neighbor, your family members, that Mrenga can pray for five hours. No. We pray as the spirit leads, as Christians. Children of God are not, you know, like people of this world who are being led by the program on the paper. No. We are led by the spirit. If you put something on the paper, you need to lead all. As long as you, you cannot finish, then your prayer is not completely. But if the Holy Spirit is the one who is leading and guiding you, he will be in charge over your thinking. He will be in charge over your decision. He will be in charge over your future. He will be in charge over your friends. It's not just a matter of confessing prayer. No. Prayer is not our language. It is the language of the Holy Spirit. This is why no one knows how to pray. If the Spirit of God cannot teach you how to pray, you can pray with your mouth shouting inside your heart. You are cursing your brother. You are cursing your sister. You are having bad thoughts towards your friend. Can you call that one prayer? Because God is not involved. It's not the language of this world. It is the language of the Holy Spirit. This is why it's very difficult for you to know whether your prayer has been heard by God or not. We pray because it is time to pray. We pray because they said, oh, let's pray. As a child of God, prayer is life. Prayer is blood circulating all over your body. We pray every time. I am walking, I'm praying. I am inside my house, I'm praying. I'm driving, I'm eating, I'm inside my heart. Prayer is life. When you see you're not praying, there's no life again. That is the difference between you and people of this world. If I say, Father, give me a vehicle. He knows if it is time for me to have a car. Even before I open my mouth, he knows the intention of me having a car. Therefore, Anka Eva Langava Nandi, Kowat Mulenga is now what? Driving with music, full blast. If you say God answered my prayer and he gave me the vehicle, and your vehicle is now affecting everyone who is around you. I don't think so God answered that prayer. Praise the Lord. Let's go. This is verse 6. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in the secret will reward you. Where is the secret? I want you to know that. Outside your body, there is no secret. Come on, children of God. Outside your body, there is no what? The secret is inside your heart. What you have never shared with anyone will never be known to anyone. That is the secret. The one who sees in secret is God Almighty. Simply means prayer. It's not a public speech. It is a secret language. Even where you are voicing out in the public like this one, God has already answered you because you prayed before you entered the church. Are you there? No one knows your secret. There is no secret. Okay, if you kill a human being, you are two. Come here, brother. We are two. Me and this brother, we kill a human being and say, please, don't share this information to anyone. This is our secret. He will agree to say, I will never, never share this information to anyone. As long as it was me 
who suffocated that brother. This brother, where you go, you will not, you know, stick to what he promised me. Because it is outside me and it is outside him. So this one is not a secret. One day you'll be, <laughs> ah, fintu fimo, mm -mm. ah. People ask, well, why are you saying fintu fimo? Ah. Who? Yeah. Where is the secret? And he doesn't know that now, what he has said, you know, in the public or shared with anyone, who, 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 who bring what? Problem to his life and to my life. Before you know it, police. You said Mlenga is the one who suffocated. Yes, I was there watching, but you are supposed to report him uh, uh, just there and then. Now this is one year down the line, so joint recharge. You are also a suspect. A secret between me and my brother who took us to court. When we met, I said, my brother, I told you that you should not share this information to anyone. He said, ah, but he said, ah, Simply means, secret lies inside your heart. Even when you are praying, it is not people who are very close to you to say, ah, this one is a very powerful prayer. No. I can shout, bragata, 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 as long as inside me, I am not praying. I didn't pray that prayer before. God will not answer me. So, prayer is a secret language. Your voice can deceive anyone. You can speak in tongues. I remember years back, I was praying for one sister, just here in Chingola. Immediately, I raised my hands while she started, I said, ah, this one is a prayer word here. Hmm. I think I'm, I'm, I'm a lucky man that I've encountered a prayer word here. And I need people like this one. Ah. Before you know it, the Holy Spirit says, which one is a prayer warrior? This one is a demon. I said, ah, which one is a demon now? <clears throat> Let me try again. <clears throat> Immediately, I'm like, I said, ah. but these are tongues. These are what? Tongues. The Holy Spirit says, touch her again. I said, Ah, uh, do you know me? We give her these tongues to deceive many. She can pray for five hours in tongues. I said, who is praying? He said, us. I said, oh. This is why you see, even devil can say, I saw this. But he cannot give you what? Solution. Prayer is a secret language which blinds Satan and his demons. If it is communicated to God Almighty. Are you there? Prayer is a secret language that blinds Satan and his demons. Satan does not, you know, understand a spiritual prayer. No. He doesn't understand. But when you pray according to your voice, you understand your language. Say, ah, so this one is planning to do this. Before he does that, we need to fix him. Take note. Prayer is a secret language which blinds Satan and his demons. He will just wake up and discover that he, his demons cannot move. He's looking here and there. Who did this? Who has done this? Who has done this? Before you know it, your answer has come to your life. You become pregnant. Breakthrough, promotion. By the time they are realizing that, oh, is this one, you are on top of your destiny. They are under your feet. That is prayer. It's a way of communicating. You cannot talk to God through your voice. You talk to God through your heart. There are people who can show that, oh, we can pray, they can shout. I'm not saying shouting is a, you know, is a, no. But as long as God is not involved in that prayer, let me give you this example. We are here now to pray on top of our voices. The prayer that we are going to offer, we have already played it in the spirit. Which means that our enemies are totally blind. 
You see people vomiting. You hear sometimes demons say, I didn't know that this fool is coming to this place. What happened? No, I didn't know. I just find myself here. Why? The prayer that we prayed blinded your enemy because the hour has come for you to be delivered. Okay. Let's go to verse 7. And when you pray, do not keep on bubbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many what? Words. It is not how many words that are coming out of your mouth. No. Just one word. Do you know that even saying thank you, Jesus, is a very powerful prayer? I gave you that example last time where here is Inshima on the table and you call someone to say, brother or sister, can you pray for Inshima before we start eating? And the man or woman who now stands say, Father, thank you for this food. Thank you for protecting those who are cooking this food. Thank you even for the man who provided this food. The food is already on the table. For you to start saying, protect them, do that, the only prayer you can offer is say, thank you, Father. Bless this food in Jesus' name. Simple. That prayer cannot sanctify what? Food. No, you want to show people that you can pray. That is what you know you are, you are telling them, that you can pray along what? You discover that when you finish that prayer, everyone will ask for water again to wash what? Their hands. Just one word, Father, thank you. He knows what you need. He knows all I want. He knows my problem. He knows what I'm going through. It doesn't mean that if I keep on reminding Father, you know me. See what I'm going through. Elijah prayed and you answered him. You are not praying like Elijah. You are praying a prayer of fear and doubt. Not until when you see, you say, ah, thank you, Jesus. Prayer is not like that. It is a self-confidence inside a human being's heart who believes in Jesus. That is prayer. It's not our language. It's not your language. The only thing you need to do is to prepare your heart. Listen to this one, verse, verse 9. I mean verse 8. Do not be like them, for your father knows what you need before you ask them. I have already talked about this one. Now, let's go to Luke 18, verse 10. We look at these two individuals. Are you there? These two individuals, this is Luke 10, I mean Luke 18, verse 10. Listen to this. Two men went to the temple to play. One, a Pharisee, and the other, a tax collector. Verse 11, the Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like other people. What kind of prayer is that? Why must you uh, consider yourself to be a righteous one more than anyone? I am not like other people. Simply means you are just teaching yourself how to pray. You are expressing your feelings and your views as a human being. You are not praying. Why must you compare yourself to others or condemn others so that you become a righteous one? Hmm? Are you there? This is what the man said. I am not like other people, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even these tax collectors. Can you imagine? And the man was there too praying. And him is standing there because he's a, he, 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 he believes that me, I give this, I, I do this. Listen to this uh, because of time. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He could not even look up to heaven. But a bit is blessed. And he said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. You need to condemn the body for you to be accepted or to attract the Holy Spirit with your heart. No one knows that you are a sinner, but inside your heart, you know that you are what? 
You are a sinner. So immediately you admit that, the Spirit of God will come down to take over your life. But if you declare yourself Elisha's man, and yet you know that you are not Elisha's man, you are making a very big mistake. Are you there, people of God? Listen to this. I said prayer is a secret language. It is not your voice. What we pray, if we say it is the voice, then no one can answer our prayer. Even your enemy will hear you praying and broke you. But if it is a secret, because no one knows your heart, except God himself. So if it is a secret, even your enemy will be blind. They will just discover you shining. Ah, what happened? Murenga nomba na ina apa. Fili ale mwone ka ina. Na alipe paneshi. But in Gandela, in the final, I'm going to feel much that the Mwambo Kulalo Tefiroto, Parinovo Muletu Nganyati Nindo Shpachpanda, 01 Mwabuka. Eh? The four Mungu Mfwe, Mwishi Nadia Kwa Esta, Pari Ule Mi Mfwe, Apati Ule Mungu Leta Ma Problems. What kind of prayer is that? The four Mwishi Nadia Kwa Esta, Mwishi Nadia Kwa Esta, Ni Mwaba Fudoku Mfwe Nangu Esta, Ni Esta. If it is a secret prayer, you are communicating to your father, there is no way you can, you know, insulting others and God is involved. No. But if you say, okay, therefore, I'm going to say, when do you have a pano? Now, if you say, I'm going to 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 They will check you spiritually. They will do what? They will check you spiritually. You will finish whatever you are saying, then spiritually, they will Google you to say, ah, he's trying to threaten us. He's not even there. We can't even see him near the light. He's part of us. Before you know it, you are sick. Prayer is a secret. I can pray for my brother here without telling him that I'm praying for you. As long as the Spirit of God leads me to say, pray for this man. I can pray for him. And I will not even tell him that I'm praying for you. The only thing that I will see upon his life is the light shining. You start, you know, flourishing again to say, ah. He may not even know that it is this man who prayed for me. Prayer is your secret communication between you and your father in heaven. You can pray for your wife. You can pray for your children. You can pray for your husband without telling them. Because you are communicating. Look. It's like you are talking to the president. Anything with the president, you cannot share it with anyone. It is secret or else you put yourself in problem. I'm just giving you this example. That is the same way a believer, a child of God, talk to his father without complaining. People will be asking you, what about you? No, God is in control. That is our language. Some of us, God is what? It, anything that I cannot, you know, understand, God is in control. Simple. Because I know that he knows everything. He knows what I'm going through. He knows my heart. But if you, be, you know, you stand, you say, Nshiringaba, Bachakorwa, Indoshi. Nishimule pepa muli kunga ndakumiyo, 01. Bani miyabati, Indoshi enda 24 hours. At 24 hours, kuchitashani. Nishashu pano kushupa, fire pa fire. Fire pa fire. Fire pa fire, fire pa fire. Before you know it, you are sick. Where is your prayer? Are you not disappointed? Are you not disappointed? Because prayer changes our life. Prayer does what? Mm. When you pray, you see change. But when you insult, you provoke. When you complain, you provoke. So... I'm sure this uh, prayer, this word, will settle inside your heart. I'm not saying, because sometimes understanding Muhammad, no, Pastor Did I say that? Prayer, Musa, Mukatika Mutima. Like if Kualambo, 
Tetin tampio pepele la baba ntwa pape ne fi. If you muni be na, you attack me. This prayer is uh, is already you know uh, done. The protection, the life that you see standing, is protected. Imo mufu apala pene, tia chitika. Gamwa pe papa dia pene, mashiva ta mashiva tuka, ndeke yapona. Thank you. God bless you.